Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the second match between Sva and Raj. I was informed by previous Hasu League champion Doodle that Raj is actually goes by Jedi One, who we've seen in previous seasons of Hasu League. He actually took a year break and has switched names just to add to the confusion. Sva in the upper right-hand corner as the orange. We have Raj, bottom right-hand corner, as the brown Protoss, uh, going with that proxy gateway, which ended up eventually paying off. I thought Sva defended it, actually. This is going to be on Polypoid, a little bit more macro-oriented. We'll see if that ends up playing better for Sva. I do want to talk really quick about the format. I actually had uh, minions out in Twitch land providing me the nice thing to just read. So we got the round of 32, which is eight groups of four players each. First two matches... So the first two matches at the initial stage, so it's kind of MSL format or ASL format if you're familiar with that. The first two matches are best of one. The winners of those two matches ended up playing in the winner's match. That is best of three. Or, or sorry, winners is best of one as well. I actually have that wrong. And then the last two matches, uh, which are the loser's match and the final match, are all best of three. So basically, if you're in an elimination situation, you're playing a best of three. If you are in a situation where you can just advance and exit, then it's best of one. So it rewards. Uh, so good play it results in fewer necessary games to get through, if that makes any sense. So repeating all of that with a gateway opener, by the way, it looks like we're seeing a forward barracks to potentially seal and get a quick natural expansion. I'm, I'll be curious to see whether this is going to be marine and to expand in the top right hand corner. The Terran version of Nexus first cross bond. Uh, so first. First match, best of one. Winner's match, best of one. Finals and loser's match, best of three. Hopefully that provides enough clarity. And people are excited about the return of Hasu League and can now focus on the matches in kind. And I'll hopefully down the line, if anyone asks, like, hey, what's the format? People will be able to point them to this video overall. Anyway, looks like we do have a gas up. So probably going to be a factory opener from Sva, unless he's doing something uh, more sneaky in between. Looks like this is going to be first scout for Raj. I'm not sure whether to say, whether to say Raj or Jedi One. He's actually placing the factory forward, which is exposing him to this probe, actually. So he's going to need to get a second SCV down to, yeah, to usher that probe away. But what this will do is it provides him a little bit of forward defense, but that also dedicates him to he's got to play aggressive to start. Otherwise, if he's not going... If he ends up in any situation where you have a swarm of Dragoons, and let's see if that encourages a second gateway actually here from Raj. He's got the first sell it out. But if he goes for two gate, or maybe even three gate to follow this up, he could punish this very, very easily with Dragoon range attacking this factory at a defensive slot, or he could force uh, Sva into more of a siege tank defense on the front. I'm not sure I like this factory forward. What that does do, and he's going to drop a machine shop on top of it, what this does do is this allows a few seconds where you don't have them moving towards the natural expansion. The other secondary problem though is you can't seal this anymore because if you seal this, that means the siege tank starts spawning over here away from the nice comfortable defensive location. Look at this, we've got a forward pylon. The Marines, yeah, I think Raj noticing it wants to punish it. So we got four Marines out now, no bunker as of yet. Machine shop is not whirling. There's the, the initial siege tank. I think he recognizes the potential. Range upgrading. Sva is going to be able to sneak around to scout this. He's going to see that initial Dragoon should be able to see range as well if he just makes his way that direction. And yeah, second gateway on the front. I like this play. The Zealot also going to careen in. I'm going to try to work against... I, actually, I'm not, I'm not sure I like that play. You know he's coming at you. You know he has to play aggressive. So just go ahead and... Yeah, there's, there's a three-gate follow-up to punish this. So now we've got a slew of marines and a siege tank, but also secondarily what this does is this forces Sva to rather, if he attacks towards the main, then he's going to get automatically countered at his own natural. So, and some SCVs, oh, look at this, having some movement problems. And with that attack into the high ground, that first siege tank gonna get dropped. And now, once range finishes, these Dragoons are gonna be able to create all sorts of havoc and chaos. But this is a slew of Marines now. They don't need to focus on that ga gateway. They can just focus on that pylon. They should be suited. And all of a sudden, this is gonna end up being disastrous for Raj. Yeah, I don't think Raj should... I, maybe if he didn't dedicate those initial attack forces, he would have been in a better situation to execute this. But now he's got two unpowered gateways. 
a whole bunch of Marines. He does have range, but with that siege tank, that's really going to negate this. So this was a 300 mineral loss on the front, plus the cancellation of the Dragoon right there, losing a lot of time. So opening things right back to Sva the other direction. I think if he had gone in base three gate, he would have been okay. Looking at a similar situation at game one, where Sva going extremely aggressive, shield battery dropped, some probes going to try to create a blockade to defend against the rest of this, but oof, this might be too little too late. Let's we'll see if there's the miracle hold. Just a marine in the siege tank starting to work on the pylon that looks like it got redropped, mostly getting ignored. All the probes pulling off the line. We do have a bunker being constructed. The probes actually able to get back across on... Again, able to kill a lot of these marines, so now only three marines remaining. And this bunker is in the midst of absolutely everything if it finishes. Nice repair on that siege tank to negate the probes. So now it is only 10 probes remaining. The SCV is actually getting some kills in between it. The bunker has troops. The gateway once again unpowered. It looks like the probe going to get sent home. And I think with this, Fa has it closed out. Group repair on the siege tank. It's back to full health. And the pylons now starting to take some damage. This bunker basically just, he just needs to keep cycling the troops this direction. That should be sufficient to close this out. Sending an additional Marine just to guard the remainder of that. Ooh, SCV's taking some damage on the corner. Go for that. Get him. Marine on the low ground. Dragoon sneaking its way up, able to get a kill, but he's going to end up, is he going to lose his life for it? Sva just has a stronger economy, so he just needs to make sure that he doesn't sacrifice, that he doesn't make any terrible, terrible trades. Keep the Marines in the bunker. Yeah, just keep producing troops, Marines or not, and get him down here. And that should be victory. He's lost a lot of SCVs, though. On the front now. Now starting to work on those gateways. Another pylon getting dropped behind this to make sure that they're there. We have three Dragoons, actually. So this siege, the siege tank and support Marines need to get up here in a hurry, actually. Otherwise, the siege tank could be vulnerable. And it looks like two additional Dragoons might get out. Oh, those two are very... We can got annihilated, though. And this one's spawning under fire. They are able to take the siege tank out, but that's just as another siege tank making its way in. So now we got six Marines working on everything else. So it looks like, yeah, there's GG. Spot takes game two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.